What's up watchers, Will here with another movie review for you, and today we look at the longly awaited Netflix original movie, Bright. So let's get to it with a little summary. The film sees Will Smith as seasoned officer Daryl Ward, a kind of pessimistic, cursing, and abrasive cop who has partnered up with Nick Jacoby, the first orc cop on the LAPD. The pair try to get over the tough social climate between humans and orcs due to past history as they end up wrapped up in a plot to resurrect a dark evil. They run into Tika, played by Lucy Fry, a young elf in possession of a magic wand who is on the run from Lila, a dark elf who has come to reclaim what was stolen from her, played by Numi Rapace. In this world, magic wands are described as like nuclear weapons that grant wishes, and only a select few called brights can wield and utilize their amazing abilities. So, our unlikely heroes have to put aside their differences and work together to not only protect Tika, but to also possibly save the world from the dangers of this magic wand. But no pressure, right? Bright has been getting some rough treatment in reviews as of late, and I don't really see it. I think that, yes, it does have a shaky beginning, but does find its tonal and story footing around the middle of the film, and with the characterizations from both Smith and Edgerton, there is enough material to get you through the 117 minutes. Now, I've heard a lot of comparisons of the film to the Shadowrun tabletop, and although I see some of the coincidental overlap, I can't say that this is a full adaptation of that. It does come across as a weird mashup of Tolkien creatures and Training Day, but the premise of it I would say is just interesting enough to keep you invested and keep it differentiated in this world, and also wanting to see what these characters do so that they can succeed. It is by no means a perfect film. There are some thematic misfires, a few annoyances in the writing, and waste of talents from some actors, but if you have friends over and want to put something on to talk about later, I'd say give it a watch. Ratings wise, I'd round it up to about a 7. Far from the worst thing I've seen all year, cough and humans cough, but there is room for improvement. Especially considering they do want to produce a sequel, I might just be interested to see what they do with it. So I guess we'll see. But. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. How did you enjoy Netflix's original, Bright? While you're there, leave a like and subscribe to our channel, Hybrid Network. Also, check out our website and Patreon for more exclusive content. I'm Will, and I'll see you next time.